Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually going to be taking this tank right here, which is my World War I slug. We're going to be removing the turret and turning this thing into a tank destroyer. Now the main reason for that is because I want this to have a bigger cannon. Uh, we could do that within the turrets, but I just think it'd look better and uh, work maybe better as a tank destroyer. So the turret will go and we'll go ahead and design some sort of, I don't know, mound on top of this to have a very big cannon mounted inside the tank. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Okay, so it is worth saying, at the minute, we have an 82mm cannon. That needs to be upgraded to something much bigger in order for this to actually be, I don't know, useful or worth doing. So we're going to go with 320mm. But first, we need to get rid of the actual turret. How am I even going to do that? <laughs> how do you even do this? There we go, turret has been removed. No idea how we're going to do the rest of this. Okay, so one of the issues I think we might end up actually having here is that whenever we, like, modify this, we might accidentally move all of the bits that we've added around, and that would not be very good at all. But um, hopefully that doesn't happen. So let's go ahead and raise this up and bring it inwards. To be honest, that actually doesn't look too bad. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, from there, I think I will actually angle this backwards. So, from this guy, this guy and this guy, these two as well, we're going to go and shove that backwards like so, and have it slightly angled. Yeah, I think that's going to work out. From there, we're going to go ahead and raise it up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and extend this up, and I think I'm going to go ahead and try and round it off. Whether this is a good or a bad idea, I'm not so sure, but we're going to go ahead and try. So let's go ahead and lower this down, there we go, extend it again. And then we're going to have to drag it inwards again to make it rounded. The only issue I've got here is I actually kind of want it to all go backwards at the same time. Otherwise, we will have some serious issues, which I think we're going to have anyway, which is unfortunate. So, yeah, grab this one, this one, and uh, that one. There we go. As well as this one, this one, this one. Oh, hold on. This is getting really hard to actually click on. <laughs> it's getting extremely hard to click on. There we go. Let's go ahead and angle those guys backwards like that. There we go. And then from the top, we're going to go with these guys. Obviously, not the ones on the front. This is this is kind of a struggle to click on, not going to lie. And we're going to try and angle those backwards as well. There we go. So we got like a rounded front uh, to this, which is kind of cool. From there, we're going to go to the back side. We're going to try and click on everything back here. Yes. And we're going to extend that backwards. All right, here we go. So send that backwards just like so. And I think I'll leave it just like that. Yes, it's weird, but it's sort of supposed to be. Oh, I don't know what I've done back here, but there's clearly an issue there. Hold on. I need to try and figure that out. Otherwise, yeah, we're going to have some big, big issues. So when I've extended that, we've, we've got a bit of a thing going on. I don't know what's happened. I seem to have selected everything that I need to have selected. Maybe it'd be nicer to just do this, but then that does legit move everything, which is not really what I'm wanting. So let's go ahead and just move it backwards a little bit. And maybe if we extend it, that would be fine. But yeah, I'm having some little bits of issues. Little, little bits of issues. I don't know what's going on there. All right, well, I've done my best to try and fix that by just moving these around to try and make that work. And honestly, I think I've done a decent job. I think I've, I've somewhat fixed it, or brought it back. I'm sure that's fine. Anyway, from there, what we need to do is try and figure out everything else. So I'm thinking we actually go with um, these guys again, obviously. We do need uh, rivets. It is a World War One tank, after all. So we're going to go ahead and reapply some rivets around this thing. Uh, there we go. We're going to add rivets up the sides as well, obviously. So some there, and... Oh, this is going to be kind of tricky. So, I do want them on the side here at the front, but obviously I need them to go upwards and backwards as well. So we're going to slowly try and do that as we go. Here we go. And, yeah, it's going to have to be built up and around as well, which is going to be a struggle. So one there, there we go, excellent. Probably one there. 
And we're going to have to build these guys up as we go as well. Which, again, is still tricky. There we go. Go ahead and add one piece right here. And maybe one in the center. Okay. Yeah, that works. So now we need to do a very similar thing back here. And again, I think we're going to have some pretty pretty big issues. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so three right there. Excellent. We'll then go up again by about two. And yeah, this is where we're going to have some more issues. Unfortunately, there are going to be issues here. That's fine. So instead of one singular one in the center, we've got two. But that's okay. But yeah, it's a bit bumpy. All right, the next thing is doors. We're going to go ahead and add a door into the center right here. But we're going to go ahead and extend it upwards. So it is actually really tall. Uh, I've never really done that before. It seems a little bit strange to do. But I think it works. The other thing that I want to do as well is add a fuel tank on the side right here like this. And that's going to be right next to the door. Is it weird? Yes. Is it going to work? Maybe. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually add some of these around the front edge like that. We've then got a big square right here where the gun can actually go. So, let's go to mantlets real quick. I think I want one of these, but I'm actually, I'm actually thinking one of those would work really well. The only issue is we're going to have to add a turret into there to make this actually work. No idea how this is going to go, but I want to try. All right, so I brought a turret into here, and of course it is very squared off right now, but if we make it more rounded, I actually think we might be able to get something out of this that looks pretty good. Maybe. I don't know how this is going to go, though. So we're going to extend it out to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and try and round it off. So bring this in just a little bit like that. Extend it again. Again, bringing it in. And squidging it yet again, just like that. All right, very good. We're then going to extend both the top and the bottom. At the same time, we're going to squidge it. There we go. And I need to somehow squidge these together. I think that is actually going to work. There we go. Maybe unsquidge it a little bit. There we go. Again, squidging it together. There we go. And again, bringing it in. There we go. So it's actually very rounded, which is quite nice. Let's go ahead and smooth off the angles. So it is actually round. And then try and build an actual thing onto there. I don't really know what to do here. I've not really worked like this before. So this is strange. All right, so what I'm thinking is we bring this down and we bring this down as well. There we go. And I'm pretty sure we could just shove. I don't know how this is going to work, but shove a gun into there. I don't really know. So we don't need to use this anymore, but I'm thinking we use one of these. And we make it quite large. There we go. So let's go ahead and move this down to the center. And then we'll get the right gun for it. And maybe that'll be okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> like, I genuinely don't know. So, let's load up a 320mm cannon. Alright, I mean, that looks a bit insane, but sure. Let's go ahead and make it wide. And tall. And then make it fit in there. So actually, now that I think about it, I'm actually going to go ahead and make this tiny and tiny. So that you don't even see the mantlet whatsoever. Alright, does that look very strange? I would say it does. Yes. The other thing I would say about this as well is, obviously, we should really have another turret in there that allows this to aim up and down so that the mantlet actually works properly. However, I'm going to allow the mantlet that we've got inside of this to actually do the up and down. Uh, so this won't move, but this bit will. Yeah. Not really what you really want, but it's what we've got. So, yeah. Anyway, two meters. There we go. We're going to make this maximum. Actually, maybe not. 55? Yeah, that seems good. 55 right there. We're then going to go with 55 right here. And 55 right there. Okay. This is looking ginormous. Okay. I don't actually want it to be that big. I kind of don't, actually. Let's make this, like, one meter long. We'll make this bit, like, 100. What does this even look like? If I did something like this... Would that be really, really weird? I think it would. But then if this was like 50... Actually, 45 maybe? And 45. Maybe that could look really cool. Especially if this was like smaller. So not point four five there. And maybe one. 
And then maybe if it goes down to a point of like 20, that could look kind of cool. I don't know, I feel like that looks a little bit strange, but I think it's kind of nice, weirdly. Weirdly, I think that's a cool looking gun. Right, well anyway, now that we've got that sorted, let's go ahead and shove some of these onto the sides right there. Which may or may not look or be a good idea. So let's go ahead and just shove them on anyway. And one in the center going backwards. Just like that. Unfortunately, it does sort of disappear, but that's neither here nor there. Don't worry about it. Bosh. Alright, cool. I like it. Alright, so since I've built this tank, I've actually come up with some new livery pieces. So let's go to decals. There we go. Let's go to custom. And we are going to be using this one instead. It is very, very white on the white piece. But that's just it. That's what we've got. Let's go ahead and shove this on here. And we'll make it smaller. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Shove it on the side right there. And I think I'm kind of happy with that. Even though it does look a bit weird. I think I might actually put this on a bit of a plate too. Um, because, you know, somebody might actually just aim for it. <laughs> Because it's so bright, so let's just go ahead and put a bit of an armor plate behind it. And maybe make that a little bit bigger. So we'll do this, and we'll do this, and I think that'll make it fit in there. Just that little bit nicer. We're then going to go ahead and add this guy. We're going to go ahead and make it really wide, and very thick. There we go, and if I can shove that on there quite nicely, that would be great. There we go, do the same thing at the bottom. Again, that's quite nice. And then I might actually just add one there. And oh, it would be nice to have it like straight, but it's not going to be. Right, let's go ahead and try and move this around to the top side. Like this, I guess. Yep, yeah, sure. And we'll just have those there. That's fine for now. And I'm also going to move these guys in. There we go. I think that's kind of cool. I think what I've wanted from this, we've actually somewhat got. So that's it. All right, ammo storage. Where is it stored? We've only got two rounds so far. Let's drop that down. And make it taller. Hey, there we go. How many rounds do we have now? That's quite a lot, isn't it? That's quite a lot of rounds. Ten massive rounds. These things are absolutely massive. Okay, cool. Okay, so we are going to need a gunner's sight. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually... Oh, I don't know how this is going to work. Because I need the gunner's sight not to be on the turret. Is that going to allow it to work? Yes, it is. All right, we now need a commander's cupola as well. Okay, cupola. Yes, yes, yes. I kind of like the idea of just shoving it on the top, to be honest. Sort of just like that. It's very tiny, it's very much in the way, but... I think that could work. This is so weird looking. I really like it. Okay, I was thinking that this bit right here actually looked a little bit bare, and there's not really too much going on. So I've got one of these crew hatches, and I've shoved it down into the bottom to give it some sort of hinges and sort of cool looking stuff down here. The other thing that might look really nice here that I always forget about is track segments. Um, not that, particularly. Have I just messed that up? I might have just messed that up. But spares. So if I put the spares on here, it might actually give the front a bit of an edge that otherwise you wouldn't really have. I'm also going to go ahead and spin them around so that they are this way around. And I'm going to move them out. There we go. So that they definitely fit. It'd be cool if they were the same way around, but unfortunately they're not. Um, but overly that doesn't really matter. I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to add another one. There we go. So I move it inwards so that it fits right next to it. And I think that's okay. I would like to add more of these in my designs, but I always forget that they're actually a thing. So, yeah, there we go. We're going to leave it just like that. I like the idea of also adding one of these back here, so that's what I'm also going to do. We're having a, a wheel back there, and any more wheels that we need, we can add as well around the top if we need. But I don't want to do that. There you go. Spare wheel on the back, spare wheel on the back right there as well, and we are good. All right, cool. What kind of armor does this thing have? So right here it has 40 mil, and here it has 40 mil, and I think it might have 40 mil literally everywhere. <laughs> it literally does. It's 40 mil everywhere. I don't know why I've done that. 
I have no idea why I've done that. Right, let's go ahead and get rid of a bunch of armor. Just to make this thing a little bit lighter, because otherwise... This is far too heavy. It's just not gonna move. Alright, there we go. Just drop all that down to like 10. Cool. Alright, so we did weigh something like 60-something tons, but now we weigh a little bit less. Uh, down to, what, 53 tons. It's still very, very heavy. But, it does move, as you guys can see. So, let's go ahead and, I don't know, I guess fight something with this? I want to see what the gun does. Alright, a Tog 2 is pretty deadly, so if it shoots me, I do die, obviously. So let's go ahead and try and shoot the Tog 2 before it shoots us, and maybe we stand a chance. Alright, there we go, it did shoot, but we managed to shoot back, and we did destroy it. Okay, but now I think we're stuck. Oh, not if we reverse, though. <laughs> hey! Lovely! I like the idea of this. Just a huge cannon mounted to a World War I slug. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna have to come back to this design at some point. I, I like the massive cannon. I think I need to work on my mantlet designs. I want something that looks really cool and works really well. And I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time trying to do that. So I think in the future we'll come up with something nice there. I also want some sponsons on this thing. I think that would be awesome too. So, we'll probably come up with a whole new design for this. Taking on, you know, a similar silhouette, so, you know, a, a tadpole, long, World War One shape. Um, but yeah, I think the tank in the future is gonna look better than this. At least I hope so, anyway. Alright, there is one mission I actually want to try with this, which makes no sense whatsoever, but it is the crossroads. So, we have a King Tiger versus two World War One slugs. I should mention, these World War I slugs obviously have a 320 mm cannon. But uh, I don't think we actually managed to hit the target. So now we have to wait another like three minutes to actually shoot again. Interesting. Also, that guy is tanking rounds somehow. That's interesting. All right, we're moving past that tank to our left, who is also reloading. Uh, and we are now gonna take on the challenge of Getting shot in the face, which is um, a very interesting challenge, to be fair. Oh, there you go, my driver has been knocked out. Oh, the driver's also been knocked out on this guy, too. Oh, that's not particularly good. Oh, he's now shooting me in the face. So he is, like, there. I have to wait another minute and a half before I can shoot again. But my driver is dead. Luckily, the gunner is not. Literally, just as I as I stopped there, we got blown up. Interesting. So, what would make this thing more effective on this map? Well, the thing that would make it more effective is a longer gun. So, instead of one meter on the end, we're going to have five. That's right, five meters on the end. What that allows us to do is hopefully aim towards the said target and shoot him. We died instantly there. How is this happening? Three, two, one. I think I missed the target somehow. How am I missing the target? This is... This is unreal. Alright, let's go again. How am I missing? Aim towards the target. He's right there. Aim quite high. Fire. The issue that I'm having is I don't know how I'm supposed to aim this gun. Do I aim really, really high? Oh, I do! I aim quite high. And maybe that'll work. Alright, okay. Also, I think we need AP rounds. Otherwise, we might have some super bad issues. So, oh no, they are both AP. Alright, let's try this again. He missed. I don't know where he is. We aim. We fire. Alright, we hit the target and it did go through. So now we change tanks. We move to the side. Find the enemy. Who has just killed my friend. Aim high. Shoot. Oh, we did hit the target, but it was never going to go through. All right, these guys don't really fare very well against the King Tiger. But who thought they would? Not me. All right, early war crusader type tank. Let's go ahead and see how we deal with this. It's very small. Let's go ahead and fire. All right, so he, he literally just dies. Right, let's go up against our 18-ton tank now. This thing is really good and really effective. Its gun is also extremely good. So I figured I'd shoot straight away, and he is dead. 
All right, who else have we got? <laughs> what other tanks do we have? Should we go for that MBT? Probably not a good idea, but let's try. So there's a huge MBT there. Fire, and he dies in one shot too. What else do we have? Okay, we do have... I mean, we do have the King Tiger again. But don't really want to go up against that again. What do we have with armor? Maybe this thing? Right, here we go. Ah! No, everything dies. Right, I'm going to go up against the King Tiger on this map being flat. And we'll see what happens here. All right, he shot me. My driver did die. Apparently, my round went through, but he's not dead. Let's try APHE rounds. All right, these are APHE rounds. He has missed. Fire! There we go. And it did go through, but only just. 208 mil of pen versus 207 mil of armor. So although it did go through, it did not kill him, unfortunately. Well, that kind of sucks. But anyway, yes, it's a World War One tank. I do want to get rid of that barrel again. I don't think it should be so long. Let's go back to the cannon. Drop this back down to one meter. And that's kind of how I want it to be. Nice. What might be funny, and what might actually be kind of cool, is to change the gun from a 320mm cannon to maybe a 450, which is a lot bigger. We're then going to lower this down to like 25mm, there we go. 25mm right there. We're then going to drop this down, obviously, to like 15 and 15. And we're going to drop this down to like 0.5. There we go. So, yeah, I actually really like the idea of this. 55 right there. 55 right there. And then we'll go with like 40. And it drops down to pretty much zero. Okay. I could put that on the end, but I think that looks very weird. So let's not do that. But how about we add another piece? And we add another piece. But this one's tiny and is kind of a little bit bigger than the rest. So 20. There we go. And probably, oh, maybe even like 30 actually. 30 there, 30 here. Bosh. I think that's kind of what I want. Also, let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of this. We still have the rounds. It takes 550 seconds to reload. King Tiger. There it is. If it shoots me, I might die. But it did miss. Aim. Fire. <laughs> it's a big round, but it didn't go through. That's all right. Let's try it against some of the other tanks again. And we'll probably call it a day. All right, early war crusader type tank again. There it is, and there it isn't. Yeah, that got shot and pretty much disappeared. Let's go ahead and do the 18-ton tank now. 18.5. There it is. If it shoots me, remember I probably die. I missed, so we got to try that again. <laughs> we got to try that again. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. See, if it shoots me, I die. 18.5 turn. We're already aiming at it. Fire. Oh, I think it shot the round mid-air there. I'm pretty sure it did. All right, aim that way again. Oh, yeah. So we got some weaknesses. We got some big weaknesses. I think if I upgraded the armor, it might make sense. But I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to. All right, 18.5 foot. 18.5 to attack. Bam. All right, I shot him, and he did actually survive. The one thing that we are having issues with here is actually pen. We don't really have very much. And that's probably because we have a very short barrel. But that's fine. Also, I guess the rounds themselves are APHE. If I change those, I guess we're going to have a lot more pen. So, King Tiger. We're going to try one more time. Here it is. We survived a shot. And he survived a shot. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Cannon. All right. I just want to make sure it goes through. Six meters. Six meters. Uh, six and five. That's a long barrel. I don't know. I just think it's kind of funny. King Tiger, let's go ahead and shoot him again with this huge barrel. Good night. Yeah, there you go. With a longer barrel, obviously the bigger rounds have a little bit more pen because it helps. So, there you go. What do you guys think of the tank destroyer? World War One slug. Should I redo this, reimagine it, try and come up with something nicer? Or should we just go ahead and call it a day with this kind of design? I'm not sure. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.